Welcome to Satisfactory Update 4, my name is Nilao, so this is the second episode of our new Let's Play, where we'll be starting all over in, from scratch in the Northern Forest in Update 4. So I have a very ambitious plan for us uh, today, so uh, that is going to be... Uh, uh, it's going to be very interesting. First, I'd like to thank the people who are uh, for, for your support, your likes and shares and subscribes and all that stuff on the first episode. It's good to see that there is a genuine interest for me to play this game. I was kind of uh, unsure, but it's uh, it's super nice to see that there is a interest. I'm I'm loving the game. I've I've had my questions about it and maybe that will come later on when uh, when we need to build gigantic builds and don't really have the tools for it but then we'll add mods at that point but uh, right now this is super nice so we're gonna start where we uh, where we left off and i have just added one more thing that we didn't really have time for last time uh, at the end of it where we made the wires the cables then i've also added the sheets now the sheets are not really used at this point so what i actually want to do is i want to take the sheets and i would just want to feed them into the awesome sink. So the awesome sink is uh, kind of a unique thing that's uh, added here. It's a really cool way to unlock additional recipes. And uh, I don't know if I have some specific recipes I want to make, but it's very nice to actually be able to do it. So the first thing we want to do is just take, I mean, these ones are just accruing here. They're not really doing anything. So why not just um, build a little thing? Oh yeah, by the way, while I'm building this, let me just uh, talk a bit about, uh, okay what I want to do today because I have a very ambitious plan for us today and I'm it might be a bit over ambitious so as we progress with the base the next thing we really want to make is automating the the reinforced iron plates because those are used for belts mark 2 and they're used for a lot of construction things so that would be really handy to be able to have that and uh, that will be basically the main thing. But on top of that, it would also be really nice if we could unlock something that is new and exciting as part of this. So I'd also really like to make, to be able to unlock some zip lines and some, uh, and Blade Runners. Blade Runners are something that that's, this just make us run faster and it's just super nice. Uh, it's the best way to move about the base, in my opinion. And the zip line is a new feature that come in this, uh, in this, update 4 so it would be nice for us to start looking at some of the new things so you can also get a sense of what are the cool new things i haven't done it myself so that is what we are going to do now this awesome sink very very brief uh, information it just takes a lot of junk in yeah as you can see i have tested it before um it takes junk in whatever you feed into it it will just consume it and when it consumes it, it will start accruing here some points onto the next coupon. The coupons is something you can take out and the coupons, you can use those for buying things in an awesome shop. So we'll just print the coupons here, get seven of those. There you suggest items. And I know that you can uh, feed them back in and that's not what I'm really interested in at this point. But I just want to show this, uh, can't afford, I can't afford a shop. Hmm, how do I buy stuff for the shop? So we just go over here and get some more screws. We should have a screw location, there we go. And we can build the awesome sink. And you can see here, each one that comes in gives us, I don't know, 24 points. That's just something, I don't know. It's, uh, it, it's just an item we don't need right now, so we might as well just feed it in here for the time being. And here in the awesome shop, we have seven points. We can buy different things. You can see here there are light panels, uh, ladders, floodlights, really, really cool things. I want to get into this, but uh, I have to also, if I want to make the objective we have today, then I also have to make sure that I focus on that objective. There are so many cool things. It's a really, I really like this feature because it allows you to, oh, parachutes, uh, and then just buying the parts here. Uh, that's rarely a good thing, but sometimes it actually is. Yeah, so I want to focus on building the stuff we need. And now I just ended up with some of these in my inventory. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. All right, so what we want to do in this episode is... Uh, also, one of the, another thing is that here you can see this is now a Mark II belt. I don't know if you can see it, but it is a Mark II belt. It goes up and it splits here, 60, for the stuff that we built last time. Here, the wires and cables and 60 for the sheets. So we're actually burning through a, quite a lot of, of sheets. We are also doing the same thing for the iron now. Iron comes in here on a Mark II belt, Mark II, Mark II, Mark II, and that gets split here into 60 that way, 60 that way. This is going into 
rods and this is going to plates so we have all we need what we do want to do now is actually start building the reinforced iron plate factory reinforced iron plate factory and where i want to build it is up there uh, why do i want to build up here i have no clue i just feel like i want to build tall in this space so uh, that's kind of how we want to build things so we're going to find some kind of reasonable location for us to build yeah like that here yeah, that should be able to good like that all right so now we have basically a location i want to take this one and build it up so the i will always make these floors i'll have multiple floors i don't know how i'm going to do it but i'll have multiple floors and basically this is one level and basically if i want to make another floor it's either at this level or it's at the next level wow uh the next level is going to be seven up seven up haha <laughs> back in the 80s right i don't know does seven up even exist anymore i don't know leave a comment below uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, look at me counting. Seven. All right, so that is going to be the altitude for the next platform. It's going to be up here. I'll just make a bit. And now we have the obvious next question. How the hell do we get up there? Getting down is easy. You just jump off the cliff, jump it off. But there are... <clears throat> We have two things we need. We need to be able to get up there and get down again. So getting up there is through the use of jump pads. So we're gonna research jump pads. Jump pads have been changed in update four. I really like them. Buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during And that's under, I love it's under transportation here. So we'll, uh, we'll build that. Uh, the th second thing is, this is the MAM. This is a, also another really cool uh, feature here. Is that it um, It allows you to take like hard drives that you can find at crash sites. All these weird things that you can take, you can find out in the world. And you can get new and awesome research. So the one thing I'm looking for is... Is, is, is... Oh yeah, here, Mycelia. I just wanted to show you that uh, when we found Mycelia... I researched this one, I researched signs we can make fabric, then we researched we can make parachutes. So what I want to make is actually make some parachutes for us, because if we are getting up there is fine, but getting down there is, uh, yeah, well, it's also fine, but I, I think I'd prefer to have a bit more safe way to get down, and that's where the parachutes are coming in. So let's make a few parachutes so we can uh, we can get safely down there, down from there again. And this is all the parachutes we can make. That is a total of 30 parachutes. The part I dislike about the parachute is that when when they're running around like an idiot, like I sometimes am, like this, there's a big chance that you sometimes activate a parachute and, uh, well, kind of annoying. So now we're going to make a jump pad. Jump pads have been changed quite a bit. You can see that now they are telling you where they're gonna land. That is really, really nice because that means that you can actually start start designing things much easier it's much less trial and error so when you place it once then you can start doing the rotation and get a sense of where where you're going to so you can, here you can see it bounces into the wall and then falls down really really cool idea and it's so nice it's unfortunately not something that's used very much but it is very, very nice so i'm gonna do like that one is obviously under this is right in front of it and then i think i need to build it here And then I go there. Whoop. Then we can see that it actually just works by going up there. Looking nice. And I will then take a power line. Basically the rule is always don't put things directly in. If you have a new item, just get an extra power line. All right, so let's jump up. Ta -da. I love that they're deterministic. That's very, very nice. Especially for someone like me. I love the jump pads. I really want to use them. Unfortunately, they just, uh, they're getting, they're always, there's always a better option. And there's even an even better option option now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks about right. Yeah, we're going to get this iron up here. 
And maybe you are asking yourself, why would you want to build stuff up here? And the answer to that is because uh, several reasons. One thing is I, I want to use verticality. I think it's more fun. It's also one more fun when I fall down and fall some flat to my face and like an idiot. Um, so there's a bit of that as well. But also the fact that unlike Factorio and Dyson Sphere Program, you can actually build in the third dimension here. So if you don't use that, it kind of feels a bit of like a shame that you're not, because it's one of the things that are super unique about Satisfactory. It's just that you can build all over the place in, and so why not? Why not do it actually if you can? So a big part of it is because I can, and the other part of it is because. I don't have a lot of space down here. I mean, as soon as I get down there, then I get, start bumping into mines and cliffs and all that crap. And I really don't like bumping into cliffs. We want the, uh, who's this cliff guy? We want to make something up here. Oh, look at that. It's coming back. Oh, that looks cool. That's from uh, from our research. Oh, that's actually really nice. I don't think I remember seeing it from up here. And okay, our flashlight even lights up down there. All right, well, that is good. We have to make sure we don't build so that this annoying flying moth gets in here right so where do we start where do we start i think we start out here with something that is not this one but this one we are going to start making the design and that is going to be a bit of a challenge to do this design what i'm going to start doing and this is very much a me thing is that i'm building a couple of these out here and i'm building them exclusively because this because it's super easy to set the splitters in the middle of tiles but it's not easy to build other things in the middle of the tiles so by putting this one in the middle of the tile it i can use the blue line to get to a, align these much more easily like for example like that and then i i go here there now i know it's in the middle of this one otherwise i probably wouldn't be completely sure if it was in the middle of it all right let's start from the end we are going to start by looking at the new assembler. We are going to put it on our hotbar because we are going to build a few of those. And we need to make sure that how do we make this reinforced iron plate? I think they've changed the recipe from at least maybe not in update three, but long time ago. I used to remember that it was super awesome, those super awful ratios, but this is really nice ratios. Very, very nice. You will see. So we are going to need six iron. No. Don't care about the top one. Don't care at all. We look at only per minute. So we are going to put in 30 iron per minute and 60 screws, 30 iron plates. So 30 iron plates is 45 iron ingots because iron plates, can I hover over and get a recipe? Yeah, three to two. So for every 30, then I need 45 inbound. Good, so remember 45 ingots for the iron plates. Screws, well, uh, screws are one to four. So if it's uh, 60 here, then, oh, look at that. Auto save is finally working. It, there was an update this morning, so very nice. Um, so 60 screws will become 15 rods. Rods are one to one, so that's 15. So this is actually taking exactly 60 iron ingots inbound that is absolutely brilliant and since we have a pure node we can actually take two of these so we're going to bake two of bake we we'll make two of these they're not going to be here but that just gives them an idea that means now we know exactly how much we want we want to produce we want to produce a total of 60 iron plates per minute and 120 screws per minute okay so that is um 60 60 iron plates per minute. It's going to be three of these. Boom. And boom. Yep. Plates. So the plates here are 20 outbound. And this is here, 20 outbound. This one, 20 outbound. So that's the 60 we need. But each one takes 30 inbound. That means they need a dedicated smelter each. And again, we use the blue lines to make things really, really crisp. Now this is consuming 90 of our total 120 iron so that's good and then we need to get the next one the next 30 in here um is actually going to get into one and can't afford ah it's the it's okay okay let's see if there are any other things we're probably not going to be having um 
Yeah, let's let's go let's go grab it. Wee! I I did that because I thought it was cool just to jump down, not because it was strictly necessary. And I just top up everything here. When you're coming back to this, just top up on what you need so you don't run out. And then fill your inventory and then start to destroying it because you don't have room for the stuff you actually need. There you go. Yeah, okay, that's a pathetically small inventory we have. All right, all right, let's jump back up. I'm doing this mainly because I think it's fun to jump up and down, jump up and fly down. I mean, if we have parachutes, we should use them. This is the one thing though, you have to go in from this side. Whoop. And we're back up. Did not take long. And we continue our construction like so. And this one is iron rods. And this one is iron rods. They are now producing 15 each. And then I am going to take... This is why this is why that one is there. Because I need to build here. This will make the screws. But the screws is only taking 10. So if I want 120 screws per minute, then I need three of these machines. In and of itself, not a problem. But it does mean that it's much nicer if I don't have the middle one, right? Because this is 15 and this is 15. They go out and then they can be a splitter, a merger, a splitter, a merger. So that the 15 plus 15 gets split into 10 plus 10 plus 10. That seems really good. And then now we have the difficult part. And that's the part where I get 40 plus 40 plus 40. That's going to get out to... here and see it's not aligned there now it's aligned and that one is aligned and I don't need this so out here I will get 120 that will now need to go into these two locations and then I need to figure out how I do that uh, this this one can go out this one can go out these two, three are producing 20 each and I need 30 into each location. So I am going to take a merger here. And I'm going to merge here as well. And then I'm going to, and this is also very nice. You can actually just split, go a splitter here. So the 20 from the middle one go in and get split into this one. So now we have 30 outbound here. I'm going to do the same on this side. Oh, actually, did I want to make uh, at least, I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'd really like is this one to go straight into that. And that's th this is now where things get really, really difficult. Well, difficult for me. They're not they're not necessarily difficult, but they I, I think they are. See, this is good. This is gonna be exactly the right location. It aligns this one directly in. So that is perfect, except I'm not sure I have the right location here. Uh, so let's take this one as well. And... There. Is it again like this? Completely straight. Perfect. Except... Um, hmm, not working. So what I actually want to do is take this one, have to go above. And in order for it to go above, then I need to make sure that I design this correctly. This one will first of all split into here. Ah, uh, that's pretty close. Maybe a bit too close. Yeah, maybe not really lovely to build that, I think. Maybe I'll build them a bit closer. Maybe that's better. Yeah. That doesn't seem reasonable. That does not seem reasonable at all. Huh. How are we... How can... How is this suddenly so weird? Yeah, so that one wants to go in here. That means I need to have... Okay, this is a this is one of the things that I like the fact that you can do this, but I think that the amount of time sometimes it takes to actually get this done 
is a bit overwhelming. So what I need is here, and there is one location. We're here, listen to the ding. That ding is magical. I was a bit lucky and a bit of experience that I knew the distance I should place it at, because what I can do now is I can undo this. I will now know that this is coming up here and this will be, now we get a splitter. Yeah. So you are going to go from here and remember this is coming out at 120. So I have to get a Mark II belt in here. And then I don't need a Mark II belt anymore. I just need a Mark I belt. Oh, oh, that's not right. That was aligned towards the middle. These alignment things are always... Yeah, so that's the difference. If it aligns like this when it's at the bottom, then it means it's aligned towards the middle of an entity. If it's up here, then it aligns towards the top, the entrance port, I think. Let's see. Yes. And this one will then go. And good. I love the fact that uh, so many people, uh, that the, my idea of uh, these 90 degree turns resonated with a lot of people. That's really nice because uh, that is the only way to do it. And then I can take here. This is just a normal Mark 1. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it over. And then bring it down again. Because, well, they're not going to be clipping in my world. So this looks a bit weird, but it's actually pretty straightforward. And now I just need all the rest. <laughs> I just need all the rest. Isn't that lovely? I don't think I want all of this out here, though. Uh, maybe all of this takes out. I don't know. Mm, that's a, okay. I'm gonna get a box. Uh, yep. I'm just uh, I'm th I'm thinking here. So bear with me. This one is again only there for alignment, so that I know what the middle is. I big entities like this. I can't I can never find the middle of of this unless I'm. As I say, I get some help. So what we need here is that one comes out with five per minute, and that one comes out with five per minute. They're not actually set. Five per minute and five per minute. I will get that in to a splitter. There. No, that's a merger. And then it'll go into a splitter. Wire splitter. Hmm. Because I potentially want to get it out somewhere else. Not just put it in a box that I can come up and pick from, but also take it out somewhere else. Either to one of the next production facilities or to uh, more relevant, maybe put it into uh, into what it's called, the awesome sink. But at least at this point, it'll go into that one. Now let's uh, trace it back and get, this is gonna be 40 outbound, so that can be a Mark 1 belt, 40 outbound, Mark 1 belt, 40 outbound, that's Mark 1 belt. Wow, that was, that was, that was not pretty. One, two, here. However, this is 40 plus 40, so that's 80, and therefore I need a Mark 2 in this little segment, adding another 40 to get becomes 8, 120, and that is done. <clears throat> what? Did you guys see that? And have you not, why did you not tell me that it was way off? No wonder I couldn't get this one to make, to fit, huh? Uh, <laughs> Try again. Level two. And now uh, Mark 1. At some point, I'll just start using... Yes, there we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'll only start using better belts, but at this point, I got to save my resources because I don't have so much. Oh, we're not running anymore. There. So this one is also going to be one of those uh, from two to three splitters. So that consists of a splitter. And a splitter over here. And a merger in the middle. And then we just get thing. There's just something about this. Okay, try again. In. 
in, in. I try not to get caught by the belts. So what I've done here is now take these two 15 plus 15 of the iron rods and iron rods. Yes. Split it into three times 10 into the gears. Cool. And that means uh, I don't actually have the smelter for it. So let's build the smelter. We'll build that in the middle because then it can again do it a splitter. And that looks very much in the middle. So it goes out with a 30 and goes in here. I love building these and then at the very end hooking it up and just see the whole thing working. <clears throat> I hope. That is the iron ingots for the iron plates. That one does not need to be here anymore. And all I need now is coming in from this line. I will get one of these. Mm, actually, no, I won't. Because if I look down... No. Well, maybe? Yes, kind of? I don't know. Here. And then we need more splitters. So we're going to use this manifold system, which is does have its flaws. And the flaw basically being that it fills up the first one with too much. And then only then does it go further down. What? Running here at the edge. Uh, ah, right. That's why I, would, I was sure that I needed one more. There you go. All right. So again, we have to figure out. Mark II belt goes from here to here, and from here to here. And at that point, I don't need Mark II belts anymore, right? This takes 30 inbound, this takes 30 inbound, but now that I've taken two times 30 out, then I only have 60 left, so I can make you with a Mark I belt. And it's actually better to take a Mark I belt because that also prevents too much from flowing into the, no, it doesn't actually. It doesn't prevent too much from flowing into the first ones. It would prevent too much from flying down the line. That is maybe, perhaps, kind of all the belts we need. The only thing we need then is kind of a foundation here. Boom. And we're going to go up here and just take a look at it to see if we have all the belts we need. All right. So what we need on top of this is we need to get power up here. We need to build the mine down there and then hook it up here. Yes, uh, power poles are something that's always super boring. So I will just uh, do that and then we can uh, we can come back and go up here and see it actually working. And we are back up here. We should be seeing some iron coming in. You can see here, it's coming in. I hooked up the iron mine. I hooked up all of these. I think they're all flashing yellow, which means that they have a recipe, they have power, but they just don't have any materials. If they're flashing red, then it would be like that little stick, glow stick there. Then they would either not have power or not have a recipe. But at this point, they're now starting to get some. Oh my, are those slow those spells. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, maybe you noticed while I was building, which I didn't. Uh, one of these was one tile off. I noticed it when I was placing power poles, but that is fixed now. So we are seeing Iron ingots coming in. Are we seeing it on all three lines? It's good. So all three are working. We're getting iron ingots here, getting split into the two iron rod production. We're just going to have to wait a bit until it actually goes in. And once it has built this, it'll hopefully go into all these and then start making a... There will be in the beginning, as I mentioned, with the manifold, basically this here where it branches out. So basically what happens is it takes 120 in here, 60 goes into the first, 60 moves down the line. The 60 going into the first one will have to build up the buffer, internal buffer to 100 before it starts only consuming the stuff that, well, only drawing from the belt the stuff that is consuming. That means in the beginning it's only getting 60 in here, which goes 30 plus 30, and then it gets 30 down here, it gets 15 plus 15. So right now in the beginning, it's actually getting quite a lot less then uh, this one's only getting 15, but it should be getting 30. And it will get 30 once the first ones have been stacked up. It's just going to take, well, a couple of minutes, I would guess, for that to happen. You, We can see over here, this is the most important part, is that we get iron plates coming in. All three of these are working. That's good. This one's working, working. And we are also getting some 
uh, yeah, some, what are they called? Screws, yes. So let's get some screws in there. And once we have those screws, then we should be seeing these ones get back online. And I'm just gonna do, well, let's just fly down there because we are so rich that we can just burn through our, come on, there. Let's go over here and see if they are actually working. Looks like they're working, albeit slowly. So I'm just gonna be helping it a bit, right? Why not? We want to get this up and running, so let's uh, let's let's just get this. Let's get this going. Cool. They're working. They're just getting slightly slow. I am gonna call this an unmitigated success. I know. Do you, do you call things an unmitigated success? Unmitigated disaster. Unmitigated success. It must be the same thing. So what now? What now, dear friends? Well, the time has come for us to go out into the world and do some exploration. So I'm just going to gear up and get ready for an exploration run, and then we'll be uh, heading out. But we do have our reinforced iron plates. What are we going to use them for? Well, Mark II belts is the one thing that's going to be continuously using, but we also need it for unlocking the first research of the space elevator. But we won't be able to do that in this episode. All right, let me gear up and get ready for an exploration run. Right, so here we are, we are ready to do that exploration run, but, however, one thing though, if you look here, I had to do something in advance, because how do we know where we are going to explore if we don't, if we can't scan for the material? What we're looking for is a material called Keterium, and we actually have that scannable. The reason, the way you can get the scannable is you have to go out and just roam the world until you find one of those uh, sort of deposits that actually has a bit of Keterium, then bring it back here, do a three second research here, and with the first 10 of those, and once you have that, you can now scan for Keterium. And that's what we're gonna do. So what we've done now is we have Keterium, it's 775 meters away, and over here we have it even more. I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna be clever. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, we're gonna be really clever about it. I, um, cause there is an easy way and there's a difficult way to get there. We're gonna take the easy way. I can admit that I also have tried the other way, and that went very poorly with just massive attacks from giant spiders, small spiders, uh, headbutt harries, and uh, just all sorts of nonsense. It was an all-round bad time. What I've also done is I have moved my... Let's go up here. Whoop. Do, 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 do. Go here. All right, so right up there behind our hub, that's where we had the... The biomass burners and the biomass burners were, they ran out and I thought, you know what, let's move the biomass burners down here near where we're actually producing materials. So this is where we're producing it. You can see here, this biofuel. So I'm now lining it up here. And again, I want to reiterate because it seems there's still so much confusion about it. These do not burn more than they need. So right now I have 550 megawatts of capacity available but they're not gonna consume more than they need, which all this means is that I have now put in a lot of solid fuel into a buffer. So you can't feed it. Basically what I wanted to do was put it in a box, feed it into a, a biomass burner, but I can't do that. So instead I just make many biomass burners and then give them 200 biomass each and then they'll run for seven, eight hours or something, maybe. And that's, very nice thing to do and it just saves a lot of trouble uh you really don't want to go out into the world with the uh, damage already taken well we got our parachutes we got our poker and it is time to go out so this is the easy way why do i know it's the easy way because i took the bad way and this one is not it we're gonna go follow the road see we have a bit of a road here and we are, might actually go skip some uh skip some fighting if we can get away with it oh oh i saw a movement Ooh, food, berries. So in uh, in this uh, playthrough, I am not going to spend so much time on actually exploration because that's something that can easily just go like seven, eight episodes of exploration. So we're gonna go light on the exploration mode here and just focus more on the building part. Uh, we will do a slight bit of exploration when I feel that there's something specific, like in this case, we are gonna go out. Uh, but in, uh, in the case of of course just general exploration runs for various items then i don't think i'm going to be doing that like in a large amount because that would just easily take up many many episodes can we yeah 
Do they see me? Oh no, they don't. Oh, they see me. Ow! Please don't kick me off. Ow! Okay, this sucks. Oh, please don't kick me off. I, I, I'm not really hitting the same one. There we go. Where's the other one? There you are. I, I'm, I'm really feeling that I should be able to do that. And then run in and stab it twice. But I can't. Never mind. That was uh, a lecture on one way of doing it. Not Definitely not the most ideal way. But, you know, it's fast. Let's chop it down and get one of those slugs. We need them slugs. Thank you, slug. And I'll save complete. That one, I have taken that one. I just did a small exploration run. And I took that. Yeah, I don't like these big ones. They're super annoying. And they're almost unkillable. I think you can kill them, but they're not easy to kill. Anyway, we are going for the easy way there. Uh, by the way, I should probably be keep scanning Katerium. It should be up there. Ah, look at that. Our intuition and map understanding is uh, not awful. And that one. So there are lots of interesting things around here. Like ooh, things we can explode down here eventually. But that's not what we're going to do. We are going to go around and... No, not here. Up this path. 900 meters? What? Seriously? There it is. See? Katerium. Lovely. And we are going to take grab these when we can. So I will do a few things here. So I actually want to build a real miner, but we don't have power at this point. But that's okay. Um, I can I can get that. And then I want to do a smelter here. And then I want to do a box. So the point of this design here is that I can now set something up. That will just continue to work. Uh, of course, I can't really... Uh, I can't mine it yet. Ah, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. That's okay. And we we just we just do that. Whoop. Get some manual miners that we've brought along. Because I didn't expect that we would want more of these. Oh, man. I, I don't have anything in my hands. I'll get that one. Okay, so... I can start grabbing some of this from here. And what I can also build is then I can build the MAM. I can build two of those. I can build as many as I want of these. So I'll just build one. They don't, don't require power somehow. Katerium. That requires 50 of those. And then a 5 minute waiting time. That's 50. I will get Katerium there. No, 3 second waiting time. Lovely. I can wait 3 seconds. And then we can go in here. That will be the next one. This requires makes us the quark wire. And then from here we can that's the zip line, and I think that one is the blade runners. So we're gonna be continue to work on this. Now we can fire this one up, but it doesn't have any power, obviously. So again, we're gonna get some power, we're gonna get some biomass burners. Uh, we just need a few of these. Here, that's three. Three is a few. Go here, 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 and that goes into this one. So my consumption here will be, this one will take 45, 45 per minute, and this one can output 60. So this is a good opportunity to scale it down so it uses less power. It's no power. Yeah, of course it's no power because I haven't put any fuel in here. That's why I put some took some fuel pellets with me on this uh, quest so that I could do some here all right what is the this little power network uh, or as the statement goes the power gird that's a nice little spelling mistake all right so this one is potentially 90 but not really right now and i could just put this in here 
So they are started working. It's gonna take forever and ever and ever to get this up and running. And what luckily I have uh, options for doing that myself by just getting taking these and then making a look at that this little base here is just getting bigger and bigger soon we'll have a big base but it's very important in the base like this I will not make it on concrete if I can at all avoid it because the concrete makes it uh, susceptible to think that suddenly they'll grow together and I don't want that all right we are just gonna make enough of this so that it's not a problem and then we'll um, we'll start the next research and it's time to start the first research here this one will be a no, it's a three minute one, three second one, so that is easy. We'll get that one. And then we can now get the zip line. And uh, that requires some quick wire. And I also want this one. This is also taking quick wire. So we are gonna make 100 quick wire plus, this is a five minute one. I really want the Blade Runners first, but you know, we'll, we'll see. What? Yep, yeah, so back, uh, back at the crafting desk and make more of these so we can uh, continue. We now have the 200 Katerium we need. I will do this one because it takes three seconds. Boom. That opens the Blade Runners. Absolutely stunningly awesome, amazing. But we'll do the uh, this one first. So I'll uh, start this one. It's gonna take five minutes. And that means in those five minutes, I all I can do is just uh, stand here, craft some things and wait. And we are back now, so you can see it's still processing, but I think we're coming up on the last second. Let we go. Hey, look at that. It disappeared. Boom. The analysis of zipline is completed. Please choose a new mode. New node. All right, so we got the zipline. All right, well, new equipment unlocked. So let's uh, try to figure out that. Here, we are going to research the Caterium. That takes five minutes, and in those five minutes, we can uh, figure out how to make the zipline. Uh, let's make more stuff. So what more stuff do we need? We need to go here, make it a workshop. Uh, I get we can kind of not squeeze in the workshop anywhere. Hmm. Guess that that's gonna be behind here. Okay, there's a space for a workshop. This uh, this space is <laughs> is getting bigger and bigger. All right, let's have a look at a zip line. What do we need? We need one of those pokers and nothing else. All right, so let's get one poker. And that's one poker and then one zip line. All right. Now the question is the how how does it work? Well, that's a good question. That's what we're gonna see. Okay. Switch to it. Aha. So it rotates and it has a like a voltmeter or something. So I, so when you hold it, now it's ready to accept or jump in. And we are going to find a way to mm, well. Ah, why did I do? Why did I do this? I never thought that would be necessary. Okay, uh, from here to that one, into that one, and then let's uh, let's just do a test thing. And let's see, jump. Okay, okay, so that it it does something, it does something for sure. Let's see if we can uh, use it to go up again as well. Uh, maybe from this one and we can maybe use it for exploration purposes like uh, putting it up there I do think though that we are probably gonna be in what if I do just go here yeah and then I jump onto that one oh yeah it works it works it works it works it works and jump oh oh man that was so close to being awesome I think there's a yeah, there are a few up here. I don't think they can get up all the way up top here. That is pretty neat. Pretty neat. So if I want to go back, I can just go... Jump? Ah, well, maybe I can jump from one to the other. But the idea is pretty good that I can actually use it for exploration purposes. What we need now is we need the Blade Runners done. So let's have a look. It's going to be two minutes. So let's wait uh, two minutes and then we can do Blade Runners and we can do Zipline on our way back. And now I think the research must be done. Let's have a look. Added it and it's spinny, spinny, spinny. Ah, one second. Ah, oh, it's pretty good timing. Pretty good timing. Blade Runners. I absolutely love Blade Runners. So Blade Runners are basically just... Uh, so we won't be able to have Blade Runners and Parachute equipped. 
But Blade Runner's uh, minimize, they increased running speed, increased jumping length, and reduced fall damage. Absolutely insanely good. And we're now crafting the Blade Runners. That will be super nice. So we are going to go uh, just experience how much of a difference there is with equipping the Blade Runners. You can see our run speed is insanely good and our jump speed is so nice. So I would also recommend that you go for Blade Runners and maybe the zip line as well pretty early on in the game. So what can we do here? We need to go back and uh, we want to go... want to just try a bit with the with this zip line just because ow okay that's lovely where are you i don't know disappeared maybe it's still up here hmm my point was we don't hear it um, my point was that actually we do need a power pole first, so we can actually just do the power pole. And then if we take it sort of, like how far you can take it away, the wire is too long. There. Then we switch. And then we just use this to propel ourselves downwards. And not just downwards though. We can also use it to propel ourselves upwards, I would imagine. So if we... Ah, this is a really annoying place, this part, because you, it's so easy to get down there, but it's not easy to get back up again. But what if we... Uh, uh, there it is. What if we get down there through using this? And... Jump. Cool. Let's see if we can also get back up again. Uh, we have uh, cleared this area, so... I, I did that earlier off camera, just uh, just for the hell of it. So now the question becomes, can I use my to get, for example, up here? That would be pretty neat. Like build a power pole somewhere like this and then go. Yeah, I want to go up there. Floor is too steep. Just somewhere where it accepts to place it. Come on. How can... Come on. Why? Why? No! I want to build it up there. Floor, floor, waste floor too steep everywhere. It's not supposed to be too... Oh! I built something. I don't think that's what I want. Oops. Hmm. Ah! This is the part I'm... I'm... I'm bunny hopping. It doesn't... Connect? Why does it not connect? So do I need to build like a ramp or something? So that I get... Oh! Now I can get up there. This is, by the way, pretty bad. Oh, this is horrible. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? I don't have anywhere to go. It's right in the middle of everything. I can jump over there. Oh! Okay, no, 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 no! Right, we'll cut this out in post. <laughs> and we are back in our hub. Uh, I will just go back to our corpse and then uh, pretend like nothing happened. Ow! I fell down again. Now I'm... I'm okay. This is also going to get cut out. So let's, uh, let's try again. <laughs> I forgot that I don't have any health when I start up. Uh, that's less than ideal. Okay, we'll try again. And we're back here with our <clears throat> cops and uh, <laughs> all right let's uh, get uh, these things sorted here and the zip line okay so the conceptually I would say that it's a success I would not call it an unmitigated success my implementation of it but the idea would be great if I could put it up here for example that would be super nice if I could put it up here why not up here maybe 
it's just uh, there's definitely something that we need to to get a better familiar familiarity with it. The floor is too steep. is such an annoying thing. Yeah, so it's probably a lot easier to go down than go up with it. But could I then go... Oh, got to switch to the other one. I mean, it's not because it's faster or anything, but it might be... See, if I can get up there, that would be nice. No, the floor is too steep. It's just haunting us everywhere. Yeah, that's a that's pretty miserable, honestly. Floor's too steep. Floor's too steep. Floor's too steep. We can't get up at all with this. I was really counting on this being uh, a good way to get back up, but uh, I I if anyone has figured out a good way, I was I was so sure that we had like really cool feature here that we could use it for getting up but i think it's because it's the ground here is poking through what if i built like um like something like this and then try to get it from here and up to that one yeah then it works and again with me not jumping correctly what if i can i just can i jump like this. Alright, the question is can I jump to the other one? I mean, I think we saw that. Well, me not being able to is not really an indication of whether it's possible or not. Ah, man. What if I just stand here? Just stand here and jump. I'm just. There we go. Wow, I mean, theoretically, it might be faster, but. Right now, I just don't really feel that it's saving me a lot of time. Oh, hello. Hello, slug. Oh, we're going to get bumped. We're going to get bumped. Uh, where is it? Doesn't matter. We can run pretty quickly. All right. Let's uh, run back to our base. We are back to the base right here. Woohoo! And we didn't even die. Not a single time. Uh, what we can do, though, is we can probably use some of... From this one get up to the corner aha see this is kind of how I feel that it's intended to be used like let's hook up hook ourselves up to this platform and go here yeah that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and also going down that means we don't really as long as we have any some kind of power pole nearby or we can get a power pole nearby then it should be fine all right so we have come to the end of this episode we have a zip line and uh, it's pretty cool and then we on top of that we also have uh, we also have our blade runners which is uh, really nice so we can run a lot faster now and uh, that's gonna be super convenient oh, okay just, just don't fly off all right let's jump there you go and can i what if i jump ah yeah i mean i guess i guess there's gonna be some kind of practice thing here yeah I think that I think you can do like tours of the base with that. Uh, it's definitely something we're going to pay attention to and do some testing later on. But I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can see one of these uh, cool new things, the zip line, and we also progressed the base with a lot more construction of uh, of the reinforced iron plates. And that will go into our first launch of the Space Elevator, which will probably be the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below all your good ideas, bad ideas about how we can use the zip lines and uh, how, the, how to do that better. Because um, as you can see, I'm not an expert. I'm just mucking about and just trying to learn, learn how it works. If you enjoyed, want to see more satisfactory factorial of Dyson Sphere program, all of the building games, then uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and stay effective.